between a two year course and a one year course. Uh, for those youngsters who are still looking and making up their mind about uh, a business school education, about acquiring a degree on that front, uh, how should they approach this one year versus two year question? So I would put it this way that first and foremost, whether it is one year or two years, some amount of industry experience for doing a management education is compulsorily highly recommended. Uh, you mm -hmm. can say trade because nearly 30 to 50 percent of what you go through in a classroom will not be appreciated if you do not have work experience. Mm -hmm. that, that's one part of it. Second part of uh, between one year and two year, what to choose? From India, typically it is always highly preferable to go for a two-year flagship residential MBA program which is out of your comfort zone. In other words, not from your home, not from your same city, but which essentially gives you a lot of exposure which is beyond your comfort zone. Because uh, I often come across illustrations of let's say someone who is in Bombay, born, brought up, etc they think that taking up the next degree or whatever it is by being there only will immensely help. That doesn't, uh, you can say, help in their learning agility and learning curve. Hmm. You definitely are uh, are in a market which is possibly happening wherein industries, fair amount of industry is located. But many other things essentially do get captured in terms of your peer group behavior, your engagement in terms of the common words that you use and the corporate language which gets taken and bought. These are important. So I would go to the extent of saying two-year flagship program, highly recommended for young generation, very less amount of industry experience. One-year program or one-year MBA uh, is recommended for people with fair amount of you can say work experience, let's say about eight to 10 years, who have also gone through what I will call as enough amount of industrial training, management training, both in practice and through their own, you can say organization level, as uh, you can say uh, things which happen within the organization, executive training, etc. And if, if someone's essentially coming to for a program after having fair amount of uh, work experience, I would say then the way to go forward is a one-year program. Okay. Dr. Das, that very question, very same question to you, one year versus two years and the focus on how much work experience is ideal? See, there are two different products, two different segments. Uh, mm -hmm. The two-year program will have its space in a country like India. And this is a cultural issue. A lot of people want to finish all their education in one shot. They don't want to go and work for a while and come back, which is very different, say, in the West. So the two-year program will continue. They'll, prop they'll be typically ideal for the zero to three years work experience. Uh, and the one-year program will be for people with, say, more than three years work experience. And ideally for people with more than five years work experience. Now, the advantage of a one-year program is that the opportunity cost is less because you take off from a well-paying from a job which is paying you a salary for only one year and since they already have you know a decent understanding of various aspects of business depending on whatever role they have done whatever sector they have worked in they can understand the fundamental concepts much faster than somebody who comes in a two-year program with either no or very little work experience so i don't think it's one is better than the other both are two different products, you know, optimized for two different market segments. And in India, I see both of them, you know, coexisting and uh, running in parallel. The, the demand for in terms of size of the market for a two-year program is going to be larger because of this tendency to not wait too long to finish your education in this country. But uh, the demand for the one-year product will be growing, maybe not as fast uh, as the two-year program growth is, but it will still be in growth because a lot of people will start realizing the advantages of having worked for, you know, four or five years and then coming into business school. So they, both products will have their place and both will thrive uh, going forward. The trick is in the one-year program, you must design it right because 
you should not try to just squeeze a two-year program curriculum into a one-year program. You will have to take away certain parts of the curriculum which should have been covered when they have been working and bring in additional parts which they would be ready to absorb because of their work experience. So the curriculum design differentiation has to be very distinct and that is going to drive the success or the failure of a one-year program that any business school launches. Thank you.